to another vlog. I'm going go kart riding. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Bossy, how was go-karting? Good. It was sick? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It was your first time. You had a big crash at the end. How's your neck? Good. Good? Didn't hurt yourself? You're a tough man. Anyway, a little bit of footage there. I just shot it on my... Um, you're going to come in or out, bud? Because we're going to close this so the puppy doesn't come through. <laughs> no, they're Lulu staying in there. Anyway, that was honestly such a big proud dad moment. Even for you guys watching, how sick was it watching Bossy? Oh, that was sick. Yeah. Just goes for it. He's such a sender. Um, big crash at the end though, honestly. As a dad, I was pretty, uh, I wouldn't say I was like super concerned, but he hit so hard. I know it's kind of hard to see on my phone, so I can't, I'm obviously editing this now and I've seen it, blah, blah, blah. But watching the visor fly off his face, it was like, oh shit, you know what I mean? Like he's, he's hit pretty solid. Anyway, we're back at working on the Zook. It's a Sunday night. We thought I'd, uh, I don't know, you know when you get just sometimes, probably not the best time of the, to get a bit of motivation, but yeah, I think you asked about the Zook and I was like, well, yeah, let's go right. do, let's, let's, let's do something on it. Like uh, so anyway, what was this called again? A double shank. So anyway, our plan is I couldn't find a tie rod to suit the the uh, steering that's on the Zook. Um, it's a Ford Courier tie rod end, but only a US one, if that makes any sense. It's a male like this, uh, and the style of it you can't get in Australia. And the only way I can do it is like four weeks to get it from the States. And I think I want to drive this within the next four weeks. Um, so the other option is doing a, uh, what do you call these, uh, my brain is not working right now, but anyway, we're going to get one of these and then do a double shank setup, which means it basically clamps from either side and we're sort of going to do like a bolt on style, uh, rather than a weld on style and see how that goes. If it holds up, fantastic. If it doesn't, I'll go back to the drawing board, but I think what I have planned will work. We've, um, cut out some, um, bits of metal, pretty thick, I think it's like four mil. And uh, I'm about to drill some holes, which will basically be the holes for this to go through. And uh, yeah, go from there. And then we'll need to nut and bolt it. And with any luck, this will have this car steering. I'm a little bit concerned with going out and testing it, because obviously if I go out and test it and it breaks, I'm gonna lose the steering, but I'll give it a good like. I might just honestly just punch the car into the tree out the front and see if the steering holds up. And if it doesn't, then I'll go back to the drawing board, hopefully just out the front. But I, I really feel like this will work. So we're gonna give it a red hot go, weld it all together and see how it turns out. You reckon with your expert- uh... Yeah, expertise over here. I even went and got me center punch to try and get a pro oh, proper you've hole. You've been going on about this center punch, haven't you? Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> You're excited <laughs> to use the center punch? I haven't got to use my tools in months. And I uh, spent my whole, probably we spent what last- 10, 10 like 10 or so minutes looking for this, my Christmas tree bit, which was on this drill. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're kicking goals out here on a Sunday Arvo. We've had a good day. We actually gave away that 33 that I showed you guys the other day. 
Um, that's been given away now. I went to, his name's Mitchell, and he's from uh, Toowoomba. So local, you know, only an hour away. Won an R33 GDR for 300 bucks, man, which is ridiculous. So super stoked to be part of Thames. It's it's a really cool thing. It's, it's going in leaps and bounds. We've got another car that's getting given away soon. Um, so I'll let you guys know about that when it comes along. So anyway, join us for building a double shank. I only learned what a double shank was the other day, but we're building one now. Well, I think the most important thing, kids, as you know, is where your uh, safety, safety boots. Safety boots, really important. Very. I did vacuum up, to be fair. It is nice and clean. I go and vacuum my Woo. area to uh, clean it right <laughs> Sanitary up. Sanitary fab shop. Yeah. It's not vacuumed everything, but I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, just well, good. Should be alright. Yeah. Bastard. Yeah. She's right. I'll uh, work it out. I'll just have to hold it. Get, get rid of that. Yeah. say dime bags baby or anything like that. I'm not going to say dime bags baby, that's not bad though. Yeah. I've got some panel on there. Fucking look at it. Yeah. I'm going to run a bead down the... That's all. Be better if I had that on the, uh, on the this. That's hot. Find out if things are hot by touching them. <laughs> that's the best way to go. <laughs> I was rocking my safety squint at so You look through the GoPro, mate, it's the uh, way forward. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. Well, that's how I do it. When somebody else is welding, I... Look through it? Yeah. Why can I see myself welding... I'm going to do that, because I can see myself welding to my bloody device. Alright. <laughs> right. It's a nice little weld, man. Oh, oh, look at that. Not bad. Professional, eh? Sort of, maybe, not really. It's all that close. tray building on the zoop. Yeah, look, it's all coming together. Sometimes I can weld good, and sometimes, literally on the definition of sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit, <laughs> when it comes to welding. <laughs> um, how do you do the... Do you want to grab the plies? So to do the other one, I'll do... Hot things, hot, 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 hot. <laughs> it's fine. Hot potato, hot potato. This is how you meant to do the right angles, though. This is, I've got lots of stuff stuck to this. So anyway, we'll put this in here. Brush my own finger. Theory, should be able to. Put that like that, all right? Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Might well be the middle first. Things are hot. Oh god, that one! Oh god damn it! Things are hot. <laughs> Things are hot. Do you want me to hold something here? I don't know what I want to do. I want that to magnetize. There we go. Magnetize. And that needs to just. Oh, oh. The safety boots. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's okay. Okay. That if one. that's not hot, this is. Um. So right, I might go on the bottom with that one. Right. Give me that. I'm gonna put this on the magnet. Should be roughly square. 
and then if I hold this, which is hot, Why don't still you... hot. I oh, hold it with this. Cool. I need to put. Wait, that goes. We want to go on the inside of. Do so we want to go like that? No. Like that. Yeah, like that. Okay. So. It's fine. If I do this, can you just oh. give it a tap? Oh, look at the head flick. Oh shit. No, no. I'm probably not grounded. Ooh, I'm probably not either. No, you're not. God damn it. All right, back to the drawing board, folks. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna put this in here. And yeah. What if I put stuff between it and bolt it together? As if it's like, what we're meant to be doing. Like that. Oh yeah. And what do we need, something that's 10 mils? Yeah. Is that how thick that other piece? Oh no, 15, isn't it? Yeah, 15 mil. So something's 15 mil and then literally bolt it all together. Let's do that. Put oh. this down, we'll find some. All right, so we've gone ahead and bolted it together now. Which seems I'm fairly, I may, do you reckon, see here? It's like a mil out. Do you reckon we try and pop that across a little bit? I don't think it really matters. I feel like we can make that up with the grinder. <laughs> <laughs> grinder and lots of spray paint. To fix <laughs> Hopefully I didn't weld it to the... Uh, the box. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. a spot on. It's a pretty solid weld, I reckon. I'm yeah. feeling comfortable with that. How does it go, grinder? Tell me if that looks like it's got enough heat in it, guys. I feel like there is, like, like you can see where it's panoed into the metal there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Grinder and paint makes up for the welder, I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we need to unbolt this off. And then That's weld out the inside. Yeah, I'm trying not to make the same mistakes I made a hundred times before. Why is that hard to come out now? Uh, you're going to have to undo it from that nut. Oh, oh, Rogi. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it wasn't an easy thing. Well, that's going to be hot, isn't it? That bolt. Uh, do you want a socket for that? No, it's all right. No, no it's not too bad. Not too spicy, it's just moderately spicy. Bit mild. Yeah, um, that's not bad though. Obviously, I'll get a heat high tensile nut, and what I'll do for at least the first time out, I reckon, well, not the first time out, just full stop, I'll carry a spare one of these Himes, and I'll carry, um, what do you call it? Spare Heim and spare bolt that'll go through it. That, you know, Realistically, they're the two things that will be able to break with this double, double my bobby setup that we're doing. A double my bobby. Are we are we in the spare parts business as well? Are we building another one of these? Building us two of. Yeah. I don't think we need to, honestly. Like. We're confident. Well, the thing is, even if you break this out on the tracks, you'll just be able to put another bolt through and get home. Oh yeah. Yep. You know what I mean? And as I feel like if this setup just breaks, then <laughs> you probably just need to go back to the drawing board. However, I am considering. We may be able to brace it. Oh. We may be able to add a little bit of gusseting or something, mm. which I'll, we'll have a look at. We'll go and do a test fit after I run this last bead. Double shanked. <laughs> Doubly shanked. All right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> we'll work it out. But I feel like this could be a goer. And depending on how it sits on the car, then we can sort of work things out. A smart person will wait until it cools down. But I was really good and I um, put a pool in. <laughs> Are you allowed to cool down stuff like this? 
Does it make the world better? Oh. Or is it called, um... It's called quenching, isn't it? It's a freshwater pool. Heat treating. There you go. It's heat treating. So, that's better. We go to the car in Fihori. Obviously, again, this is not the nine bolt we're going to use, but we'll be able to use this for testing. Might need a phone or something to... Oh, oh, hold on, I come with... This is my only thing, it's a big ass piece we've built. Yeah. And I don't know how we're going to go on clearances. Um, okay, so, I want to put the bolt through from the top. Mm -hmm. Because it makes heaps more sense from a... Are you doing any more welding? Don't know. Well, it's just thinking. You know what I didn't do? I haven't drilled that out yet. I was more thinking you've still got your welding hood on. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we haven't drilled out that. Yeah. But, no, I probably need to drill that out before I can do anything, because, yeah. That's not a big deal, though. Maybe I should do it off the car. If I want to do that big fucker there, and pull it off, and then do it off the car. Yes. I'll Christmas tree double sided it. You drill bits, mate. Hey. It ain't stupid if it works. I don't know if I took anything off the knuckle or more I took stuff off of this, but I don't have a drill bit to suit how big I need to drill that out. But for mock-up purposes, this is the bolt I'm going to use to go through everything. It's going to go through my double shank. Really hope I don't end up going out the wheel and like first thing I hit, like my welds break because my welds suck or something. Well, we're running into the tree first, aren't we? Yeah, I'll go <laughs> run into the tree first. I need to put things down. <laughs> yep. All right, so we've got it basically sitting in place. This is essentially replicating full lock left hand down. And we've got enough clearance up here. We've got this spun all the way around. So what it does mean is I reckon we'll be able to gusset at least that much in just to add extra strength and then and i know we're going to have to shave that corner because this goes real close if i push it around which hopefully you'll be able to see that gets super duper close there like <laughs> like it actually touches but oh, you know what i mean like it's perfection. this doesn't need to come back that way at all yeah we're not so i feel like we happily be able to gusset that in trim that edge off and we've performed what I think, knowing absolutely nothing about double shanks, <laughs> is I think we've done a good double shank. And I think it, once we gusset that in, especially, and trim off that edge, I can't see any real dramas being caused, can you? The only thing I could see is that double shank spinning. If that spins around, then you might have a bit of straw. Yeah. If you like tacked it to that bracket, you'd be fine. Yeah. I don't know if you can do that though. I wonder if I can... If, if you can tack it to where your thumb is. Up the here. Yeah. Yeah, once it's in the car, we might be able to do... Just so that you know it's not going to move and you're going to keep your clearances. Yeah, just a real hot yeah. weld. Maybe even like a little one up here, a little one here. Yeah. Just because if that turns, you never know if that might just fucking spin around. Yeah. Either way, I think we're We've done pretty good. on the on the money as far as a couple of amateurs go that don't really know anything. Alright. That is Mick. Plenty out of the way. Then we've got some which is any luck, that piece we cut off earlier should be spot on, in theory. So that was the side. Oh, that's why you cut the small piece earlier. That's the side that needs to clear, and it's this, also this side I wanted to... Do you want to clear that bottom? Oh no, that wasn't no, an issue. To. That was up the top, this side was touching, so I want to... Guts at that side. So I'm going to clean this edge up, weld him on as like a gusset, essentially. And I reckon we'll be cooking with gas. 
I reckon she's going to be a pretty welding. spicy little unit. Welding with gas. <laughs> welding, with, welding, with, welding with gas. All right, I'm going to clean that up and... All right, we got a finished item, guys. We've given it a little lick of paint, but I'm pretty happy with that. We ended up grinding down all the welds just to see and make sure we had good peno. We did, great penetration and went nice deep like. Very happy with that and we are probably, I know this is a cast piece and blah blah blah, but I'm still gonna try and give it a bit of a weld just to help hold it a little bit. I don't know, let me know in the comments if I put this up beforehand, what you guys think, whether I should chuck a weld on or not. I don't know if I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk to um, the old fella and talk to Brad and see what he thinks about it. But um, I don't know, I think it's gonna be good. Tomorrow morning, Brad's gonna come around, we're gonna do all these tie rod ends and we should, in theory, be able to put all of this back together in the next video or in this video. I'm not sure what I'm doing because I'm still not that good at making videos. All right, next day now, and I ended up getting a bunch done. I've got a bunch of new stuff on here. Brad was around here with other hub on. We are actually getting some work done on this Suzuki. With any luck tomorrow, we're gonna have this thing down off the hoist, uh, and I need to get Tiana's S13 out of here and get it back into storage. And then uh, I'm gonna get to work on getting the exo cage. Well, actually, I'll probably get work I need to do on the 370 done first, and then, get to work on exo cage on this. Tons to do. I also started building this new table for sort of this area. This was an old bar that was at the house. And um, yeah, I think it's gonna make, I obviously have to fill in the gaps a fair bit more here and then obviously lay a sheet over the top, but I'm kind of making myself a bench. Touch higher than my other benches, a lot wider than my other benches. So should make it a lot better for sort of working and I'll be able to fit I think I should, if I mount it down low properly, I should be able to mount my uh, welder. I'll probably just put the welder in the middle, but I could potentially put the welder like under here. Either way, it's gonna be a lot of extra room to be able to do the things I need to do. I also fabbed up some other stuff today. I just didn't film, I was just on a mission getting stuff done. Uh, welded up this like thing for the kids. Kids are on school holidays, so if any of you guys are parents, you know the kids are at home. There's a lot going on, so. It's all just part of the fun. I think I'm gonna wrap this one up here. I don't know it's short, I don't know it was long. It's school holidays, guys, so you're gonna to have to bear with me for the next couple of weeks. Um, yeah, weather's good and everything though, but this is to just prove that uh, we've been getting some work done and I've vacuumed this twice as well, and that's all like grinding dust. And Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out, bye.